toy companies need to address now the chemical requirements of the Toy Safety Directive that will be applicable from 20th of July 2013. Toys that don't meet the new chemical restrictions won't be accepted on the EU market from July 2013. The main changes brought by the new directive include new restrictions on carcinogenic, mutagenic and toxic to reproduction substances, nitrosamines and nitrosable substances, play cosmetics for dolls and restricted fragrances. However, the main challenges for the industry will be the new limits and restrictions for heavy metals and compounds as per EN 71 Part 3, which is the part of the directive related to the migration of certain elements. The maximum specified limits for some of the existing eight heavy metals will be lowered, and nine additional metals plus organotin and chromium-6 also named as hexavalent chromium, have been added. The nine additional heavy metals are aluminium, boron, cobalt, copper, manganese, strontium, nickel, tin and zinc. Also, the permitted limits are now split into three different categories of toy material. Dry, brittle, powder-like or pliable material, chalk for example, liquid or sticky material, like bubble solution or slime, scraped off material, like paint coatings, but this also includes plastics and fabrics. The Toy Safety Directive also foresees the possibility to amend these limits when new scientific evidence is made available. To help our clients get ready for July 2013, we have developed a screening test method which will enable toy companies to assess the risk of failing the up and coming EN71 Part 3 limits. We are able to carry out total digestion method or soluble digestion method depending on our clients needs and preferences. Carrying out an EN71 Part 3 screening exercise well before July 2013 is advisable because if the screening test fails toy manufacturers will need time to find alternative materials or suppliers in order to be compliant when the new limits become available. At Bureau Veritas, we understand the economic challenges brought about by the new chemical requirements of the Toy Safety Directive, and we've developed forward-thinking solutions to help companies comply in a more proactive way by helping them focus their quality assurance budgets on products and materials that represent the most risk. We help companies develop risk-based global programs to support their compliance. These programs are a combination of requirements management, supplier assessments, pre-, during-, and post-production controls, as well as post-shipment validation. Services that are aligned to chemical compliance include product safety assessments, which are inclusive of a review of the chemical hazards, factory chemical management system assessments for chemical hazard mitigation and a review of the chemical management systems to ensure the bill of materials defines what's really in the product, raw material testing to generate certificate of conformity, and a chemical screening based on the bill of materials and bill of substances. We also offer targeted materials on testing and surveillance testing for products. At Bureau Veritas, we have nearly four decades of experience working with toy retailers, brands, and their supply chains. Our consultants are well-placed to help the industry move forward with confidence.